Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Life is a difficult game, no matter how you play it. He's got the Goo Glide functional. You will have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor and an engine. There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmo's devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks. Squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find Quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the Surf Epelago and knows where the Quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find Quacks. He's not sure, but the quacks are probably a leftover from a cargo surfer that went under in the olden days. The squeaky material must have made them surface when their box broke. Freedom of the open surf. Welcome to the Surfipelago. 
where the horizon rests on the surfy goo. You're poking around Pokpur, a prime village. This here is the Sinky Dink, home of Gulp, at the very least. Yeah. He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have something for him to drink. Guesses he does, but it's a long life in a wild world. Sometimes he's shaken, not stirred. Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and liking the flavor. Wants to know if he could point you towards something fun to drink, so that you could share with the tipsy tipster. You sure look like you could use a drink. Either way, he hopes you find a way to wet your whistle before the world comes to an awful dry end and leaves us all thirsting for more. Says life's like a mystery drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful. But either way, you can't stop drinking till you're dead. Sure, but that's nowhere near as quick and easy. Who wants to stop to chew? He says you should toast the end of the world, but you'd better hurry. It's coming soon. Respects how you take care of yourself first instead of trying to swallow too much. Thinks it's funny you wound up with the Jagni. They drink so little, like birds. Can't understand that. Everybody's thirsty. But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one's even more intoxicating now, aged in truck tankers and all. Without a drink, and Radium Syrup especially, he can't move, much less think as the power of his mind is directly proportioned to the quantity of syrup he swigs. That's why he's called Gulp. The drink helps him forget the state the world is in, but it only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed, even if the sun goes up. Figures the real problem is finding something to drink. He wants you to know he has other interests, too. He's the Surfipelago's self-proclaimed ornithologist, for example. There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times, and, fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. They're better at floating than flapping, so you should be able to net a few without growing yourself a pair of wings. It's time for an adventure, for good or bad. Mm 
back on your own two feet. That's a resource totem, a monument left behind by those that picked scrap, trying to keep the area clean. When a story comes to you, pay attention. The oil claimed this land a long time ago.
feels bad you were abandoned as a kid and sees what that did to you. Understands you have things to do. The nightlife's about to start. Gulp tells you to not forget those quacks. They won't squeeze themselves. Let's see. Says if you don't cause problems, they will be around when you return. Says it's a fine time to do things. Says. It would be the perfect spot for a vacation.